Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're going to be factorising harder quadratics. Okay, so before we begin you need to be certain you know how to factorise normal quadratics. So the three equations on the screen, you should be able to factorise those fully and properly. You should get an answer like this. If you're not absolutely certain how to do that, you need to watch my video on factorising quadratics before we begin. The link to that will be at the top right of the screen. So if you're ready, we can try factorising this quadratic. And this one is harder than normal quadratics because the number in front of the x squared is not 1. Here it's 2. 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. So anytime you have a number here in front of the x squared, it makes it more complicated. So you're going to start by multiplying the first and the uh, last numbers together. 2 times minus 15 is minus 30. And we're looking for two numbers that add to make minus 7 and times to make minus 30. So two numbers that add to make the middle number and multiply to make the multiple you found from multiplying the first and last numbers together. You should find minus 2 and 3 uh, add to make minus 7 and multiply to make minus 30. It's up to you to find those two uh, red numbers there. If you're struggling, try writing out all the numbers that multiply to make minus 30. Okay, uh, so what we do is we split up the minus 7x into minus 10x and add 3x. So you should see that the minus 7x is the same as minus 10x and 3x. We split that up into two separate terms. Now, we take the first two terms and we factorise them. Then we take the last two terms and we factorise these two terms. And you should find that both times you get a common factor of x minus 5. Or every single time you do this, the two brackets will be the same. These two brackets should always be the same, and if they're not, you have made a mistake and you need to go back. Okay, now uh, the outside part becomes its own bracket and the uh, x minus 5 part stays as a bracket. It looks like this. And now we have factorised this equation. We have put it into two separate brackets and that is factorised. Now we can check that uh, this works by expanding the brackets afterwards. So if you multiply out that bracket using our Crabbe's claw method, you should get 2x squared minus 10x plus 3x minus 15, which does simplify to 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. And so we know we've done it correctly. And that's a nice easy check at the end to expand the brackets afterwards to make sure it is the same. Let's do another example. So here we've got 15x squared plus 8 is equal to 22x, and it asks us to solve this equation. Well, we're going to factorise it. But before we factorise it, we need to make it equal to 0. So we take the 22x to the other side, and we get 15x squared minus 22x plus 8 equals 0. When you're solving quadratics, always make it equal to 0 first. Now, as before, we take the first and last numbers. We multiply them, 15 times 8 is 120. We're looking for two numbers that add to make minus 22 and multiply to make minus uh, to make 120. Can you think of what those numbers may be? You should have got minus 12 and minus 10 that add to make minus 22 and multiply to make minus 120. If uh, you split the minus 22x in the middle of the quadratic up into those two numbers as minus 12x minus 10x, and again the middle, to middle terms are the same as before. We factorise the first two terms like this, and we factorise the last two terms like this. Okay? Now you should realise that the Brackets are the same in both uh, the first and last part, and that means we've done it correct so far. Okay, now the blue part becomes its own bracket, the red part becomes uh, stays as a bracket. We get this. 3x minus 2 times 5x minus 4 is equal to 0. And that is the factorised form. However, we're going to use this to solve the equation. And what you have to realise is that this is two brackets multiplied together. 
to make zero, and therefore to make zero, one of them must be zero. So either the first one is zero, or the second one is zero. 3x minus 2 is zero, or 5x minus 4 is zero. All we have to do is rearrange those equations to find x, and we're finished. We'll start with the blue one, we're going to add 2 to both sides, then we're going to divide by 3, and we get x equals 2 thirds. Now with the red one, we're going to add 4 to both sides, and divide by 5, we get x equals 4 fifths. And those are the final answers. Okay, now let me talk you through the steps there, because there's a lot going on. You might want to re-watch it uh, in uh, live action before I show you each indiv individual step. But if you're ready, let me show you this. Step one, we need to rearrange the quadratic to be equal to zero. Because to solve quadratics, we always need to have it equal to zero. Step two, we're going to multiply the first and last numbers of the quadratic. We multiply the 15 and the eight together to make, minus, um, to make 120. And we look for two numbers that add to make the middle number and multiply to make this multiple. So two numbers that add to make minus 22 and add to make 120. Those two numbers were minus 12 and minus 10. Step three, we're going to split the middle number of the quadratic, minus 22, into these two new numbers. There's minus 22x became minus 12x and minus 10x. Step four, we factorise the first two terms and factorise the last two terms. And then step five, we collect the brackets together. So we made the blue bracket one bracket and the red bracket another bracket. Finally, step six, we solved each bracket to be equal to zero if it does say to solve. Okay, you might want to rewatch the uh, video a few times because this is a complicated process and there are many steps and it takes, uh, takes a while to get used to these. But if you're ready, I've got some practice questions for you to try at the end here. I'd like you to factorise the top four equations, expressions, and then I'd like to use this to solve uh, the equations at the bottom. It says hence solve these equations, and the word hence in maths means we're going to use uh, the uh, thing we just did to solve the equations. Pause the video and try this yourself. This should take at least 10 to 15 minutes, maybe longer. But when you're ready, you can press play and I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Okay, did you get it right? Let me know how you did in the comments. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week. So remember, to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.